Hey everyone, and now we're going to talk about some experimental methods on how to generate carbon dioxide gas in the lab and how do we test for the presence of carbon dioxide. Now, this is often a very common question in the exam. The, the examiner is going to ask you on how to test for the presence of CO2. Now, let's get started first by how do how do we generate CO2 in the lab? So this is how to generate CO2. Now let's take a look. Well first these chips are marble chips and marble chips are also known as calcium carbonate which is also known as limestone. Now the chips are put in a hydrochloric acid solution and this reaction occurs. Now we see here carbon calcium carbonate reacting with hydrochloric acid would give carbon dioxide gas plus water plus calcium chloride. Now the carbon dioxide generated would go up 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 and into the pipe and here into the water and we notice this these bubbles generated here are bubbles of CO2. Now how do we test for the presence of CO2 and how do we know the gas present is CO2? Well, let's see. So here we come to the testing part. Now, the first step you have to do is bubble the gas or the CO2, so here is bubbling, onto some lime water. And lime water is basically calcium hydroxide. Now this reaction occurs the CO2 gas reacting with calcium hydroxide would give calcium carbonate plus water. So you see here the calcium carbonate is in the solid form so therefore the solution will become cloudy. So that's your answer. If you bubble the gas through lime water the solution will become cloudy as calcium carbonate is being generated. Now notice this, if you keep bubbling CO2 onto the solution, the solution becomes clear. Now why is that? Let's see this reaction. So calcium carbonate generated plus carbon dioxide gas, more carbon dioxide gas would give calcium hydrogen carbonate would give calcium hydrogen carbonate and this is soluble in water so therefore bubbling more and more carbon dioxide onto the solution will make the solution become clear again so here the solution becomes clear so again let's recap to test for the presence of CO2 one has to bubble the gas onto some lime water and the lime water should turn cloudy as carbon calcium carbonate is being generated. Now, if you keep on bubbling more and more, the solution will become clear since calcium hydrogen carbonate is being generated and it's soluble in water, unlike the calcium carbonate. Now, that's that for the preparation of CO2 and testing. I hope this was clear for you guys. We're going to discuss some past paper examples and we're going to see how this will come up in the exam. So stay tuned and good luck.